Hey, True Believers, England Teen here with a bit of, I don't know, I don't know if this is good news, bad news, fun news, whatever, but it surprises me that even after our culture is accepted everywhere, we still have people looking and, and saying things like, oh, they're the nerds in their mama's basement, blah, blah, yada, yada, comic book lovers are, are geeks and they don't know how to party. They don't know how to get out there. They're antisocial. So there's this bar called the Smoking Gun that actually wanted to do the first annual Geeks Be Gone. Every year, Comic-Con floods our streets with the biggest geeks and nerds to take over the uh, I can't read this at a gas lamp quarter. Uh, well, this year, the party people are reclaiming the gas lamp. And, and of course, says, there you go. It's going to celebrate the fact that the geeks are gone and the good people, the cool people, are still out in spades and doing what they are supposed to be doing, I guess, being beautiful. Like, uh, you know, somebody who likes comics can't find a gym. I know I can't, but I know there are people who can. I'm not saying anything about myself. I'm just saying in general. It's weird that we're still getting that freaking uh, stereotype. All sorts of people like comic books now or manga or the movies or maybe they're into the gaming aspect of nerddom or whatever your nerddom is. Anyway, I found this article. This is actually a bleeding cool thing. I've got to give them a... Give them props. San Diego Bar running Geeks Be Gone event uh, Monday after Comic-Con. San Diego uh, Bar Smoking Gun just launched a new event to be held in 10 days' time, the day after San Diego Comic-Con, entitled Geeks Be Gone. It celebrates the end of the show and the departure of convention goers. It will be celebrating the party. People will be reclaiming the gas lamp district after the Stormtrooper cosplays have left with their first annual Geeks Be Gone party, promising no geeks. Now, as you can imagine, this bit of discrimination did not go over well and I can understand why I mean people come from all over the place to go to San Diego Comic-Con it's Mecca for comic geeks even if they don't even if they're not Muslim they have a Mecca and uh, people bring money people bring money to spend and they have to eat somewhere they have to drink somewhere turns out though the bar isn't exactly close to San Diego Comic-Con however it's gotten some bad reviews because of this Elizabeth Francisco reviewed the smoking gun one star. Any establishment that goes out of their way to exclude people just because of their interests has to be run by bullies. Geek be gone. Really? You can't let people live instead of taking on opportunities to reel in a bunch of new customers? You realize over 160,000 people attend Comic-Con, many of them locals. You decide to stupidly throw a party to exclude them. Yeah, that's exactly what they did. And, uh... Point being is, man, the geeks are mad. I know I would be. I, I would be. And, and it should should be like that. I mean, it could have been a, hey, come on over before you go and afterwards, you know. But, uh, damn, they chose the wrong words to say. They, they And like you said, locals are geeks too. Like nobody in San Diego reads comics. That just, I mean, there's that's just a bad idea all over the place. And... Anyway, uh, let's see. Were you unaware of how many San Diego Comic-Con attendees were San Diego locals? Hmm, telling a large group of your potential clientele that you don't want their money doesn't seem like the best business decision. Maybe you think there's no hipster geek crossover population in San Diego. Good luck with that. Oh, and hating things that are popular doesn't make you interesting. Well, I tend to agree with that, and I always thought that whole thing about being cool means you don't care has always been taken wrong like people are like i don't care that's not cool hey all right i don't care that's cool when you're willing to do and go along and have fun with everybody you just don't care what you do you care who you're you're with that's the cool part anywho that's just me i don't know but here's the thing i was looking for more information on this so i went to uh the smoking guns twitter and they removed it so a win for the geeks I guess they canceled their Geeks Be Gone because they don't exactly want all of the geeks to go if they are potential clients. But then again, there was no apology as well, so I'm of the mind that I would not spend any money there. If I was going to the San Diego Comic-Con, I would make sure that that would be one bar I would not stop by. There, I'm sure, are plenty of others. But it is good to see, at least in this one case, that the geeks have scored a victory, that, you know, hey... 
win one for the geeker, right? Ah, get it? Geeker, gipper, ah, whatever. But that's just my opinion. What is yours? What's your opinion on people that would do something like this? I mean, it's any kind of exclusion, I guess, is bad if you want business. We see Marvel Comics doing that. We don't like your politics. We don't want you to buy our comics. And now a bar is saying, we don't like what you're into, so we don't want you to come in. And don't you find it weird that there is discrimination against geeks at a time when geek culture seems to be more popular than ever? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, you want to see more, you know the drill. Click like, share to get word out about the channel, and if you haven't done it already, hit subscribe and the notification bell. Sometimes YouTube does their job and actually notifies people. Also, this is the way we're trying to make a living. So if you don't mind helping the channel out, go on over to Patreon. The link is in the description below and drop a dollar in the till. Helps keep the lights on. Helps keep making videos for you. Like, thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.